Hi guys. Today I'm going to do a review of some of the GE merchandise that's come out recently. I haven't done a GE merchandise review video in quite a while, so this is all the stuff that I've accumulated over that time period, so let's get started. First I have this Sailor Moon plushie. I bought this plush at Hot Topic with some of the hot cash that I have. It's a really cute plush of Sailor Moon. Um, one thing that bothers me though about these plushes is these black lines. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the black lines around the glove tops and the sleeves and even the boots. I think they're kind of unnecessary. I think we could uh, have these come out without that and we know that that's the way they normally look. Like the Bendai ones, um, they don't have black lines like that because it's really not necessary to have them. So some people have actually altered theirs and took out the black lines which is actually a cute idea. I don't know if I'll do that, but I do want to collect these because I think they are super cute. The material they're made out of is kind of scratchy though, at least on the white parts and the skin tone parts. I don't really care for that material, but the hair is nice and I guess her skirt and actual part of her fuku is okay. And I like the way they did the brooch. I thought that was pretty good. It's pretty accurate. It looks just like it does in the show. This is all the packaging that comes with them. These don't come wrapped in plastic, at least when you buy them at the store. I don't know if that's, they normally come in plastic and they just get removed before they put them on the shelf. Possibility. But there's Sailor Moon. And next I have Chibi Moon. And Chibi Moon is quite large in the head part. That is my one problem with her. As you can see with Sailor Moon, she just looks way bigger in comparison. Even her head looks like it's much bigger than Sailor Moon's head. Her, I guess her dangos or her buns, I guess you should say are kind of big. I think they should be smaller. I think her her ponytail should be smaller. She's also got this really bright hot pink color compared to her outfit where she should be one shade of pink from her outfit to her hair. I still think she's really cute. Her outfit's the same way as Sailor Moon's. It's got the black lines, which aren't that great. Also to notice on Sailor Moon, she doesn't have her moons on her boots. Chibi Moon has um, moons on her boots in the Supers season, but not in the S season, so it's kind of confusing. But, I don't know. She's still cute, and I do like the way they did her brooch on this one as well. So... Her back bow isn't quite centered. I guess if you mess with it a little bit, you can fix that. I don't like the placement of this huge freaking tag. I mean, look at the size of this thing. I'm not a big fan of that. Sailor Moon's tag is better placed. It's more on her tush, like the Bendai ones. And for some reason, they put these ones on her side, and they're all really ugly and big and stuff. But I got this one at FYE, so Hot Topic and FYE both have some of the GE merch and for other anime shows as well, so it's not just Sailor Moon. But that's where I got those two. Next I have this super large plush. This one was sent to me from an awesome fan that sent it to me for Christmas, and I was really super surprised because these go for like $30. They're really expensive because they're so huge. Like, here's the six inch ones as comparison. You can see the difference. 
Um, these you can find at anime stores. That's where he got mine at, was an anime store. Um, I saw these two at FYE. They had the Mars one and the Venus one here. I really want to get the Sailor Moon one eventually to go with her because I like Venus and I like Sailor Moon. But I'm quite impressed with this plush. I mean, she's huge. I think her head is like a little bit abnormally large compared to the rest of her body. To me, um, she does have the black line kind of thing going on. Her hand pose, I think, is hilarious. It's kind of goofy, but I think it's funny, <laughs> too. She does have the hair bow, and this is how her hair looks in the back. A little idea of what she looks like back here, too. These make awesome plushes to snuggle with. I mean, compared to the Bendai ones, we don't have very much um, big plushes like this one. Um, they came out with like a 10th anniversary line, which are super, super rare to get your hands on, that are about this size, but I think these are even bigger than those ones, because I have a Mars one, and I think next to her, she seems a little bit bigger. She comes with the same kind of packaging, just this little tag thing, and her tag's actually on her tush, and it's not even, it's smaller than the one that's on... <laughs> Chibi Moon here. Hers was like humongous and in an odd place. But Sailor Venus's is down there and it's kind of discreet, so you don't have to worry about it being such an eyesore when you display her. But that is Sailor Venus and I'm trying to show her a little better so you can see the whole thing. But yeah, she's pretty impressive. So I don't know if I'll collect all these at $30 a pop. But I do want to get the Sailor Moon one eventually, so I guess we'll see. Next, I have some little odds and ends that I got at a convention. I think it was Otacon back in July. I think I got these. This is a keychain, and it has Neo Queen Serenity on it, Small Lady, and Sailor Moon. And I've never taken this out of the package. Um, I paid ten dollars for it. I wanted it basically for that picture. It does have a key ring and like a lobster claw hook. It's a nice image. Um, I'm trying to tell if it's on it. No, I think it's just on one side. The other side, I think, is just plain silver. Packaging is like all the others. This one actually has Sailor Moon from the R season on it. Surprisingly, but it's just a standard keychain, but I liked it for the image. So. Next I have these. These are sticker type trading cards. I thought they were really pretty when I opened them. You can't really tell what they are exactly in the package. It wasn't until I took them out that I noticed that they were super shimmery. And they're different scenes from the S season, which is my favorite. So, so that's pretty cool. Here is the Death Busters from Sailor Moon S. You can't really tell in the... Of course, my camera stopped doing that. Maybe I can get a better picture for you. It's kind of bright. There we go. But, you can't really see it too well, but like, Professor Tomo's eyes like are kind of shiny. The backs of these are plain. Um, this one's a nice one. Um, you can, I can't really bring up the shimmeriness on camera, unfortunately. But these are like holographic stickers, I promise. Only certain parts are holographic. This one, um, Sailor Moon's bow and tiara, and some of their skirts are kind of holographic. This one here, you can kind of see that one. Then the chalice is kind of prismatic there, and then this one's prismatic all over. This one's, but I can't seem to get it to show on the camera, unfortunately. But it, it kind of shows, I guess. 
<laughs> this one's the same way. The whole thing's kind of shimmery. You can kind of see it, I guess. And this one is a lot of people's favorite because it has Uranus and Neptune on it, but it's kind of shimmery too. So these are really, really nice images of Marco's work. So if you're a Marco fan, then these are really good collectible. I'm hoping they'll make more of these because trading cards are really, really popular in the Sailor Moon fandom. At least I think they are. A lot of people do collect them. Um, they're not really trading cards or stickers, but I mean, they're pretty thick, so you could put them in a binder pretty easily. And they do say stickers on the packaging. So those are really nice. I also got these. I paid $3 each for these. Um, this one is Pluto, of course. And this one is Saturn. And these are just basic pins that you can, or buttons. If you want to call them buttons. I call them pins, but you can put these on pretty much anything. I got these because I thought they were nice. But they have really nice images of both of them on it. And they do have others of these, especially the outers, look similar. So you can get the whole set if you wanted to. And next I have this. This giant pendant necklace. It's not broken, by the way. I actually just took one of the chains off and made it into a smaller necklace so then I could put it on my purse as a purse charm. But that's what it looks like. Looks pretty good on camera, I think. The back has the Sailor Moon logo and the copyright. This is the basic packaging it came with, like all the others. The gems are really nice. Uh, the only downfall about this is I thought it was way too big and way too heavy. I mean, the thickness of this metal is amazingly thick. It's a little too heavy for a necklace for me anyways, but that's what it would look like, I guess, if I wore it. I still kept the chain in case I changed my mind, but I don't know. Still kind of big for me, but it looks awesome on my purse, so... <laughs> what I was going for but it is still really really heavy but it's a really nice and it holds up with all the use I've been putting on it it looks exactly the same as it did when I first got it and I've had this for months so it goes to show you quality I guess and last but not least I got this tumbler cup and I got this as a Secret Santa gift from my friend Trista. And it's really nice. It was on my wish list, so that's pretty cool. And it's got Super Sailor Moon on there. And all of the other Guardians on there too. And then the logos down there. So it's got that image all the way through, and the top is kind of basic standard top to it. Lid pops up and snaps closed. Uh, what would I say about this cup? Basically, it's a nice cup. I think the inside is a little small. When I go to clean, it's really hard to get my hand down in there with the sponge to clean it. Um, the top is basic plastic and the, the drinking spout's a little small, but I mean, it could be worse, I guess. The bottom is made out of like a foam, so it won't slip real easily. It's a copyright. It says temperatures 194 degrees Fahrenheit to negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's not microwavable safe. But I wouldn't say it would be. <laughs> the inside has double pane plastic and the image is fully secured in the tumbler. So it gives you a little idea 
of how the cup is in the inside. Plastic all the way around both sides. So, and I did use this a little bit, so it does work pretty good. And I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher either. It doesn't say dishwasher safe or not dishwasher safe, but I would just probably not put it in the dishwasher. <laughs> but these are all the new items I've gotten recently from G Animation. So let me know what you think of them. I do really like this cup and there is another cup based on um, classic Sailor Moon, I should say, from the first season with tuxedo mask on it. So if you're interested in these cups and you've seen them, that is basically my thoughts on them as well as all this other awesome merch. So what kind of G merchandise have you gotten lately for Sailor Moon? Maybe you've gotten something different. Maybe you can recommend me something. Maybe I can get it and possibly give a review on it. But let me know what you think. And thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see y'all later. Night. Bye. I almost forgot about one more thing. I got this pen recently. I'm pretty sure it's a GE merch item. But I got it at Hot Topic. And I paid $1.99 for it. It doesn't have any copyright on it that I can see. But it totally looks like GE merch to me. So if anybody knows if this is GE merch, let me know. Because I think it is. But since there's no copyright anywhere on the pen itself, I'm not 100% sure. So... There it is, and I got it at Hot Topic, so maybe you'll have one at yours.